Seth Godin asked this great question, and that is, what would you do even though you knew you were going to fail at it? We are confronted when we defend cases with this question all the time. In particular, say, serious sex cases. I had this child porn case, and I know the minute I say that, like, alarm bells go off on the whatever Google machines. But the fact is we had five decent motions, really two fantastic, should have been granted, case should have been dismissed. And I told my client, I said, this is not getting dismissed. This judge will not dismiss these charges. They're too serious. It's a hot potato. Knowing that we were going to fail, we filed everything anyway. We argued everything anyway. But at the end of the case, after all that failure, knockdown after knockdown, my client's getting discouraged. I told him this was going to happen, but it's still discouraging to see the beatdown. But at the end of that case, all that failure, we asked that judge for a departure sentence to state one in prison. And that judge gave us a little teensy bit of probation instead. And it was a glorious thing. Look, you got to think about what you're going to do knowing that you're going to fail anyway. And people sign up for marathons all the time and ultra marathons. They know they're not going to win that thing. But that process of training for it, that process of doing all the things leading up to it, it gets you better results. And that's what we're doing when even when we file stuff that we know we're going to lose. That's the beauty of it is it will lead eventually to a better result.